know the drill, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, it does not matter what you drive, but today we're talking Broncos. That is right, we're going to talk some throwback Broncos with the Bronco Heritage Edition. Ford's officially released it, uh, it kind of came out of the blue, I was not expecting it to happen just now, and uh, well, <laughs> we're going to see it right now, so let's jump over to this and uh, we'll talk about this breaking news. So, Ford celebrates original 1960s Bronco with... New Bronco and Bronco Sport Heritage Editions. Now, the sport part kind of throws me for a loop. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why. I guess because I don't I don't really follow the Bronco Sport for for exciting news. I mean, it's a cool little vehicle, but so I don't follow that. So it's kind of cool, and you can see from the picture, there's white roofs on it. Uh, you can get the new colors. There's the uh, the yellows, the the reds, the white wheels. Uh, looks like they're going to do probably the limited. It's going to have the uh, the Sasquatch package, and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, let's get into this news. For 2023, the entire Bronco family, including Bronco two-door, four-door, and Bronco Sport SUVs, offer a Heritage Edition and Heritage Limited Edition models as a tribute tribute now uh, to the original Broncos that roamed the earth more than a half a century ago. Classic elements uh, such as Oxford white painted roof, grill, wheels, and Bronco script graphics are uh, 1966 inspired cues with a modern flair. Now uh, we're gonna we'll we're gonna have some more videos on this down the road. But uh, let's see, uh, Dearborn, Michigan Bronco brand is taking trail riders off uh, the off-road routes to enter production of the 23 Bronco uh, Bronco Sport Heritage and Heritage Limited Editions. These special edition models will be available across the Bronco family, including two-door, four-door, and Bronco Sport SUV. Ford will uh, build the 1966 units each heritage model to commemorate the year the original Bronco debuted. Uh, let's see. Bronco two-door and four-door heritage are highlighted by a two-tone paint that includes the signature Oxford white accents, included the modular hard roof, a unique Oxford white grille, and race red Ford lettering with 17-inch uh, aluminum heritage wheels painted in Oxford white and a uh, body stripe, uh, pinstripe basically. Uh, down the uh, the side of it, the 1966 era inspired square fenders with Sasquatch uh, with fender flares provide the visual callbacks. I love that. Say, well, we might have, uh, we probably should have done it this way. Uh, visual callbacks to uh, the nearly two inch wider, uh, covering the nearly two inch wider track. A powder coated steel capable front bumper with built in recovery points, integrated fog lamps is standard. The Heritage Limited model goes. Gloss back black painted 17 inch uh, heritage wheels with uh, classic dog dish centers, plus the Oxford white painted lip for more of a retro flair. Inside, each Bronco Heritage Edition unit features plaid cloth seats. I told y'all they had to do something on the inside, so that's cool. Um, and touches of Oxford white in the instrument panel, center console, badging, and front floor liners. Uh, each each Heritage Edition comes standard with Big Ben Series equipment. <laughs> they love pushing this model that nobody really wanted. Uh, Big Ben uh, Series equipment includes features including the 2.3 EcoBoost engine with 7-speed manual. That's nice. Or a 10-speed automatic. The engine delivers up to 300 uh, horsepower and up to 325 uh, foot-pound of torque. Sasquatch package with high-performance off-road stability suspension Hoff 2.0 system with a uh, long travel Bilstein position sensor dampings and all that let's see standard Goodyear tires blah 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 uh, so we can get that heritage edition in the Sasquatch as well Bronco heritage edition is available five paint options so uh, Robin's uh, egg blue which is throwback color uh, Yellowstone metallic which you know I, I said a long time ago that car was coming um, based on prairie yellow and uh, peak blue is planned for the 2024 model year. Heritage, wow. Why are we even talking about it then? That's, that's, that's why would you talk about a color that's planned for two years from now? Anyways, I think they're trying to cause people to, that they still got this backload of orders. They're causing people to go, oh, let's switch. I'm just gonna wait, I'm gonna wait for that color. Uh, Bronco Sport, we're not going to get into that, but let's look at a couple pictures here. We're doing this on the fly, so bear with me. Uh, let's see, more pictures. Must have pictures now. Uh, let's see, let's click it. There, so there is the, uh, the Yellowstone. Uh, looks pretty good. I like the, in, if you look at the wheels, the inside trim is, uh, is all white. It looks really good. Pretty nice little throwback color there. Um, and you're going to see these all over. Now, here's here's what I wanted to see was the um, the interior. 
so uh you can see white white dash kind of we've seen this we've seen this this is with the red kind of trim we've seen that kind of nintendo look uh, the brown seats look great. So, um, yeah, no, very impressive. Um, let's see, we got more pictures here. Let's go through two. Ah, uh, the script. This is why, this is why Bronco or everybody was getting shut down with this stuff is because they were planning. This is a Bronco Sport. Cool throwback that they're using the old Bronco Sport, uh, badging like that. But, uh, very nice throwback to that. Um, I'm not sure that I, I much care for this, uh, this, uh, pinstriping with the uh the badging there i think uh where people were putting it <laughs> ford, they nailed it but ford didn't want to you know you know they didn't want to be like well um uh, yeah they were doing it better than we were but there look at that look at those plaid seats that's pretty crazy i like it um i like the white dash in there it's going to show dirt like crazy but who cares because it's the heritage edition so um there you go uh we'll have more news on this i'm sure you'll you'll see it everywhere but uh i wanted to jump in and get into this real quick and uh give you my thoughts and opinions uh final thoughts the white top looks great we knew it would the pinstriping doesn't look bad i'm not big on where they put the bronco there i still think you should have put it down here <coughs> but the uh the red ford looks great very this is a good throwback this is a nice it's better than we thought it was going to be uh, especially that interior that interior is a lot better and i'm going to post all these pictures on instagram so you'll see them there uh and follow us on uh any social medias we have a discord so it's all train nation if you want to go there talk 24 7 we talk cars and trucks there so uh yeah so there is the uh the throwback and uh, i for one am very excited uh we'll know hopefully pricing and stuff further down the road i know that's supposed to release pricing in a couple weeks for the 23 model year and um i for one uh I think it's a good job. Good job, Ford. A um, couple little tweaks, and uh, I'd be like all over this and might order one. But for now, play it safe and uh, let you guys uh, who've been waiting longer than me, because I've got one, and uh, there's no no reason to be greedy and get like 17. Well, damn, I could do 17. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, or this Bronco Heritage, I'm going to drive. This is your All Terrain Nation. I've been your host, David Boyd, and we're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.